Good morning. Today is April 17th, and I'm doing a major tank update today on my tank, which is a 125-gallon uh, tank, six foot long by two foot tall by one and a half inch, or one, one and a half foot deep. And the major update is because um, I changed the, the fish in the tank from what I had about two to three hundred brachardi of all different sizes, including the fry, um, to right now there are nine uh, cyptochromus, what do they call it? What's it called? Cyptochromus, I have to read this off here, cyptochromus coloratus uh, jumbo yellow, and there's they're the ones that just are we're going there feeding right there are the cyptochromus. And they're supposed to be, uh, they're going to end up being about six inches long. And the males, at least, will be yellow. And the other ones, I don't know if we're going to see them in this video or not, but they're uh, Cypto, Cyptochromus, I'm sorry, Julidochromus transcriptus. And they're African caught, wild caught fish. Uh, that I got from this gentleman in the club, as well as the 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 sips I got from the the club guy as well. But um, I'm not sure if we're going to see them today. Oh, there's one in the center in the back. There's two of them right in, right next to the holy rock there, and they're pretty small right now too. They're about two inches, and they're going to grow to about four inches. And the rock piles on either end, including the holy rock, are for, primarily for them since they are typically rock dwellers and typically hang on the lower part of the tank, uh, where the, the sips or the cyptochromus up on, hang out in the mid to high level part of the tank. And I'm just feeding them right now, and they're running around getting their food, um, whereas the, the Julies at the bottom, as they called, the general name for them, they generally hang out toward the bottom, like I said, in the rocks. And... Um, feed they're more omnivores and they just kind of feed as they as they like it appears right now i'm not an expert on these fish yet so bear with me um anyways you could also see that you know in addition to the rock piles on either side i've got rid of for those of you who've seen the last video i've gotten rid of about 75 percent of my plants i had a big brazilian sword and a number of other big plants um, that i sold to the fish fish store and just left the Anubius and a few other little plants here in the middle um, to leave. And the main reason I did that is because the plants I had were pretty tall and I needed room on the top here to uh, for the sips to you know basically finish, swim around and so on. And also I'm going to end up having probably 30 of the Septochromus um, coloratus at the top of the tank once I get another order in uh, from this, from this gentleman in the club. So anyways, I'll keep you up to date. Just wanted to give you this major update because it's a major change to the tank. I've had Brichard in here for uh, two or three years, I think. And uh, this is a major change to the tank and the fish. And hopefully you guys like it. All the best and God bless. Bye-bye.